Hello, uh, my name is Bala Gopalan, and I'm a product manager with the Citrix Cloud Platform Group. I manage the Cloud Portal Business Manager, and today uh, I would like to show to you a new project that we are working on. It's called Project Danube, and Project Danube uh, essentially uh, transforms our Cloud Portal Business Manager from being just a product that takes uh, infrastructure as a service stood up on Citrix Cloud Platform to market, from that position to be able to aggregate many X as a service and take them to market as well. So uh, what I want to show to you is uh, the integrations that we are working on with some of our ecosystem partners and these partners offering services in a uh, different category of services such as uh, storage as a service, uh, application workloads that actually run on CloudStack uh, Cloud Platform that can be offered uh, for monetization through the cloud portal. And another category of services from a vendor that offers uh, functionality related to monitoring and intelligent capacity management. Uh, this is a slide that just uh, quickly represents uh, where we are today. So at the top, what we see is the uh, out of the box capability that the portal has in terms of uh, taking to market IaaS components from Citrix Cloud Platform. And the ones shown in green are the uh, integrations that we are working on, uh, hopefully with the availability of Project Danube. Uh, these will be available as well in a very productized manner. Uh, with that slide, what I want to do is quickly uh, go into my browser view and show you uh, a very early access uh, sneak peek into how these integrations look. So uh, what I have here is the default service catalog of the Cloud Portal Business Manager. And uh, what we are seeing here are essentially offerings from the uh, cloud platform. So these are all related to infrastructure as a service. Uh, I'm gonna click on this uh, tab that says service bundles. And here, um, what we will see are uh, many uh, productized, productized bundles. Uh, uh, from uh, different ecosystem partners. So at the top, we see three from a partner by the name of Coringo that offers storage as a service. Uh, below that, we see uh, you know things like Sugar CRM, Oracle Database, WebLogic Server, so on. These are all application workloads that can in turn uh, uh, run on CloudStack after their provision from the business manager. And at the bottom here, we see something related to monitoring and uh, monitoring uh, that's being offered by a partner by the name of VM Turbo. And uh, uh, just to, uh, uh, just to uh, mention who the partner is that uh, is running these application workloads on CloudStack, that's a partner by the name of AppCara. So what I'll do next is just go through one simple uh, provisioning scenario. So through the service catalog of the Cloud Portal Business Manager, I'm going to select this uh, bundle. This is for storage as a service. As you can see, there are many configurations uh, that the user can select from in terms of uh, you know, signing up for a particular uh, uh, you know, uh, configuration of the package. And here, after I agree to the terms and conditions, I subscribe. Uh, this is sending a provisioning request to the uh, storage as a service backend. I go to the go to subscriptions, uh, click on that link. And here, as the owner of this customer tenant, CPG SE Cloud, uh, Mr. Musterman, I'm able to see all the subscriptions that I have to date. So you see the most recent one created uh, today uh, for the object storage 10 package. And if I go into my resources here, I would see uh, first, uh, what I have already under my infrastructure as a service seems like I have a Sugar CRM application running as a virtual machine on the stack, which I can see here. I click on storage as a service, and what I'll see is all the different uh, subscriptions I have for the storage as a service. Uh, there are many here. I can see for each one of the service, uh, uh, my access uh, information, any quotas in terms of what the size of the uh, subscription that I signed up for. And as I click on this view console, I actually can see uh, an object browser that shows uh, the different files that I've actually put up, uh, you know, onto the uh, onto, onto this uh, storage, this object storage backend. So as you can see here, there is a 
there's an image that I can, I can share, uh, not a problem. Uh, we saw in the catalog uh, uh, workloads such as Sugar CRM, uh, you know, Confluence and so on. What I'm going to do is uh, quickly go to uh, how that looks. So I have it open here already. So this is the same Sugar CRM app that I first saw as the virtual machine under IaaS, and this is the higher level abstraction. And I click on this, uh, we can see that, we can see some of the credential information. You can actually see this public IP. Uh, this is an IP that CloudStack has actually uh, provided to this uh, uh, application. So as I go through a provisioning request from the service catalog, it goes all the way until the provisioning of uh, that application. So I just clicked on the public IP. Uh, what I would expect to see is the uh, Sugar CRM screen come up here. So I just, uh, as soon as I uh, 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 provision that, I can straight away come to the screen and I can go through my login into Sugar CRM. And remember, this is something that is working on the cloud stack. I can go through the rest of the configuration and I can you know, share it with my end users. The third thing that I wanted to show was the uh, thing I talked about, the monitoring as a service. And in this case, what we are seeing is the integration with uh, the partner VM Turbo. And uh, uh, here we are seeing some stats for the same virtual machine that's powering that Sugar CRM. Uh, here you're seeing information related to memory, uh, uh, the processor, things like that. But not only, uh, not only that, from a service provider perspective, this is a partner that also gives uh, uh, value uh, in terms of uh, intelligently managing workloads, optimizing, and so on. Now, the most interesting part is uh, for all of these things that, are, uh, that a user, a end user can subscribe to from the uh, business manager, uh, what that, that person can expect is a single consolidated bill. So as I go here and click on my spend, I come to a screen that shows my activity uh, updated to the most uh, current. And this looks like your monthly utility bill. You can see all the charges from the previous billing period, uh, current, you know, all the net balance and so on. But as I scroll down here and expand this section, you can see that not only uh, you know, does this take care of uh, things from the uh, uh, infrastructure as service layer powered by Citrix Cloud Platform, you can see all the subscriptions that I've created from these other ISV uh, you know, cloud service vendor backends. So you can see all of that consolidated. Now this is extremely valuable to both our service provider customers as well as their end customers because our service provider customers don't have to integrate with every single system that they want to offer as a service uh, through their uh, front-ending portal. And for the uh, end user or the end customer of the service provider, they get one single bill as opposed to getting uh, a bill from the service provider and getting you know, incremental bills from any of these ISV vendor partners that uh, you know, is made visible through the portal. So this is what I wanted to very quickly uh, show with you, uh, show to you guys, uh, uh, and a lot of exciting stuff uh, coming up in uh, Cloud Portal Business Manager as we make it more open as a platform. And what I've shown here today are just three examples of integrations that we have with uh, uh, three different category of services. We are definitely working with uh, many partners under each one of these categories, and. Uh, uh, we are uh, really looking forward to when this uh, service, when the release becomes available uh, so that uh, you guys would be able to take advantage of it and pass that value and benefit to your end customers. Thank you.